the repercussions from Syria being felt right across the region. Well, before the White House arrives at a decision on Syria, a growing number of American lawmakers are saying they want to be included in the process. More than 110 members have signed a letter today telling President Obama that he needs authorization from Congress before launching a military strike. For more, I'm joined now by the man who wrote that letter, Republican Congressman Scott Ridgell. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. in, Congressman. And uh, we see just as we're going on air that Speaker John Boehner has said in a letter to President Obama that he must explain the legal basis for the use of force in Syria. Clearly, a lot of disquiet in the American Congress about rushed action against there Syria. There certainly is. There may be momentum uh, growing on the part of the administration to engage U.S. forces, but it's also true that there's momentum uh, that's been uh, increasing in the U.S. House of Representatives that the Constitution makes clear that absent uh, the United States actually having been attacked or uh, an attack being imminent, the president must, as uh, is required under our Constitution, he has to come to Congress and seek and receive specific statutory authority uh, prior to engaging U.S. forces, as is being now contemplated in Syria. There is a discussion going on in Parliament, in Britain, of course, at the moment, and there seems to be some deliberation about how quickly the Brits are prepared to respond. Are you suggesting that America is moving too fast? Well, certainly the legal process is what our letter is directed at. Um, and I look, I actually respect and appreciate what Prime Minister Cameron is doing and calling uh, Parliament back into in a, a crisis session, I think he referred to it. We really need to do the same. If the President believes that uh, the use of force is both warranted and imminent prior to the execution of that order, uh, then he really is required under the United States Constitution to call us into joint session. This could be done within 24 hours, call members in from wherever they are, perhaps around the world. This is uh, no more serious uh, matter than the, the application of U.S. force, the risking of United States lives, um, and then give us a reasonable amount of time, say 12 hours to, to debate it, and uh, if, it, if the case is compelling, he would perhaps receive the authorization that he seeks. Okay, given what you know about the situation so far, that legal issue aside, would mm. you personally support the United States striking Syria? Uh, it's a direct question. I'll give you a direct answer. Based on what I know right now, the answer would be no. I would vote uh, against intervention. Now, I, I would also say to the president, look, uh, I would go into a presentation, his uh, presentation to the joint session, with an open mind. And I believe other members would as well. That is a benefit of this. It, it benefits the president. Right now he's seeking, I think, legitimization and, and really authorization to, uh, through our partners. Uh, we certainly respect uh, our great ally in Britain. But the moral foundation upon which American force is applied is found only in the American people as expressed through their elected representatives in the House and the Senate. Okay, Congressman Scott Ritchell, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you so much.